Computer ethics is a part of practical philosophy concerned with how computing professionals should make decisions regarding professional and social conduct. Margaret Ann Pierce, a professor in the Department of Mathematics and Computers at Georgia Southern University has categorized the ethical decisions related to computer technology and usage into three primary influences the individual's own personal code. Any informal code of ethical conduct that exists in the workplace. Exposure to formal codes of ethics. <laughs> <laughs> Foundation The term computer ethics was first coined by Walter Manor, a professor at Bowling Green State University. The conceptual foundations of computer ethics are investigated by information ethics, a branch of philosophical ethics promoted, among others, by Luciano Floridi. History. The concept of computer ethics originated in the 1940s with MIT professor Norbert Wiener, the American mathematician and philosopher. While working on anti-aircraft artillery during World War II, Wiener and his fellow engineers developed a system of communication between the part of a cannon that tracked a warplane, the part that performed calculations to estimate a trajectory, and the part responsible for firing. Wiener termed the science of such information feedback systems, cybernetics and he discussed this new field with its related ethical concerns in his 1948 book, Cybernetics. In 1950, Wiener's second book, The Human Use of Human Beings, delved deeper into the ethical issues surrounding information technology and laid out the basic foundations of computer ethics, a bit later during the same year the world's first computer crime was committed. A programmer was able to use a bit of computer code to stop his banking account from being flagged as overdrawn. However, there were no laws in place at that time to stop him, and as a result he was not charged. To make sure another person did not follow suit, an ethics code for computers was needed. In 1973, the Association for Computing Machinery ACM adopted its first code of ethics. Sri International's Don Parker, an author on computer crimes, led the committee that developed the code. In 1976, medical teacher and researcher Walter Manor noticed that ethical decisions are much harder to make when computers are added. He noticed a need for a different branch of ethics for when it came to dealing with computers. The term, computer ethics, was thus invented. In 1976, Joseph Weizenbaum made his second significant addition to the field of computer ethics. He published a book titled Computer Power and Human Reason, which talked about how artificial intelligence is good for the world, however it should never be allowed to make the most important decisions as it does not have human qualities such as wisdom. By far the most important point he makes in the book is the distinction between choosing and deciding. He argued that deciding is a computational activity while making choices is not and thus the ability to make choices is what makes us humans. At a later time during the same year Abby Maushowitz, a professor of computer science at the City College of New York, published an article titled, On Approaches to the Study of Social Issues in Computing. This article identified and analyzed technical and non-technical biases in research on social issues present in computing. 
During 1978, the Right to Financial Privacy Act was adopted by the United States Congress, drastically limiting the government's ability to search bank records. During the same year, Terrell Ward Bynum, the professor of philosophy at Southern Connecticut State University as well as director of the Research Center on Computing and Society there, developed the first ever curriculum for a university course on computer ethics. Bynum was also editor of the journal Metaphilosophy. In 1983 the journal held an essay contest on the topic of computer ethics and published the winning essays in its best-selling 1985 special issue, Computers and Ethics. In 1984, the United States Congress passed the Small Business Computer Security and Education Act, which created a Small Business Administration Advisory Council to focus on computer security related to small businesses. In 1985, James Moore, professor of philosophy at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire, published an essay called, What is Computer Ethics? In this essay Moore states the computer ethics includes the following. 1. Identification of computer-generated policy vacuums, 2. Clarification of conceptual muddles, 3. Formulation of policies for the use of computer technology, and 4. Ethical justification of such policies. During the same year, Deborah Johnson, Professor of Applied Ethics and Chair of the Department of Science, Technology, and Society in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences of the University of Virginia, got the first major computer ethics textbook published. Johnson's textbook identified major issues for research in computer ethics for more than ten years after publication of the first edition. In 1988, Robert Hauptmann, a librarian at St. Cloud University, came up with information ethics, a term that was used to describe the storage, production, access, and dissemination of information. Near the same time, the Computer Matching and Privacy Act was adopted and this act restricted United States government programs identifying debtors. In the year 1992, ACM adopted a new set of ethical rules called ACM Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct, which consisted of 24 statements of personal responsibility. Three years later, in 1995, Kristina gorniak kotchakovska a professor of philosophy at Southern Connecticut State University, coordinator of the Religious Studies Program, as well as a senior research associate in the Research Center on Computing and Society, came up with the idea that computer ethics will eventually become a global ethical system and soon after, computer ethics would replace ethics altogether as it would become the standard ethics of the information age. In 1999, Deborah Johnson revealed her view, which was quite contrary to gorniak kotchakovskas belief, and stated that computer ethics will not evolve but rather be our old ethics with a slight twist. Post 20th century, as a result to much debate of ethical guidelines, many organizations such as ABET offer ethical accreditation to university or college applications such as, "...applied and natural science, computing, engineering and engineering technology at the associate, bachelor, and master levels," to try and promote quality works that follow sound ethical and moral guidelines. <laughs> Internet privacy Privacy is one of the major issues that has emerged since the Internet has become part of many aspects of daily life. Internet users hand over personal information in order to sign up or register for services without realizing that they are potentially setting themselves up for invasions of privacy. Another example of privacy issues, with concern to Google, is tracking searches. 
There is a feature within searching that allows Google to keep track of searches so that advertisements will match your search criteria, which in turn means using people as products. There is an ongoing discussion about what privacy and privacy enforcement measures imply. With the increase in social networking sites, more and more people are allowing their private information to be shared publicly. On the surface, this may be seen as someone listing private information about them on a social networking site, but below the surface, it is the site that could be sharing the information, not the individual. This is the idea of an opt-in versus opt-out situation. There are many privacy statements that state whether there is an opt-in or an opt-out policy. Typically an opt-in privacy policy means that the individual has to tell the company issuing the privacy policy if they want their information shared or not. Opt-out means that their information will be shared unless the individual tells the company not to share it. Topic. Identifying issues Identifying ethical issues as they arise, as well as defining how to deal with them, has traditionally been problematic. In solving problems relating to ethical issues, Michael Davis proposed a unique problem-solving method. In Davis's model, the ethical problem is stated, facts are checked, and a list of options is generated by considering relevant factors relating to the problem. The actual action taken is influenced by specific ethical standards. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ethical standards. Various national and international professional societies and organizations have produced code of ethics documents to give basic behavioral guidelines to computing professionals and users. They include Association for Computing Machinery ACM Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct Australian Computer Society ACS Code of Ethics ACS Code of Professional Conduct British Computer Society BCS Code of Conduct Code of Good Practice retired May 2011 Computer Ethics Institute 10 Commandments of Computer Ethics IEEE IEEE Code of Ethics IEEE Code of Conduct League of Professional System Administrators The System Administrators Code of Ethics See also